I began this lesson by downloading a sewing machine FCM file from the stamp kit on Canvas Workspace. If you don't have the stamp kit activated, you can find a sewing machine clip art or SVG and create an FCM file. Log in to Canvas Workspace and then click New. Click on the Stamp menu on the left. Scroll through the patterns until you see the sewing machine stamp. Click on it to insert it onto the design page. Press the Download button. Download the file to your PC. Choose Save As, choose a location to save the file, and name the file. Press Save. Close the window and then close Canvas Workspace. Open BES4 and click Create New Design on the welcome screen. If your program is open, click New Page on the Quick Access Toolbar. Press the cutting mat to show the cutting mat on the design page. Press the text tool down arrow and select the normal text tool. Click on the design page to activate the tool and type in Let It Snow. Press Enter between each word to have separate lines. Click Apply in the Properties window or right mouse click away from the text to set the text. Click on the Zoom tool and draw around the text to zoom in. Click on the Select tool to release the Zoom tool. Currently the text is in embroidery format. PowerPack 2 allows you to create text as artwork. In the Properties window, click on the Font Category pull-down menu and choose Artwork Cut Fonts. Place a check mark in front of TTF for TrueType Fonts. Notice that the style has changed to Artwork. Click Apply. Click on the Font drop-down menu. Scroll through to find a font that you would like to use and then left mouse click on the font. I selected Impact. Click Apply. Change the spacing to negative 1 and then click Apply. This places the letters closer together. Change the line spacing to 5 and then click Apply. This places the lines of text closer together. Place the cursor in the center of the text and move the text to the top of the design window. Click on the Text tool and then click on the Design page to activate the tool. Type in so I, press Enter and then type in Can. Click on the Select tool. Place the cursor into the center of the text and move it into position. In the Properties window, place a check mark in front of TTF. Change the style from Column to Artwork and then click Apply. Choose a font style from the drop-down menu and then click Apply. I selected Cooper Black. Move the text into position under the other text. Change the spacing to negative 1 and click Apply. I wanted the letters to be closer so I tried negative 2 and clicked Apply. Move the text into the approximate position, change the line spacing to 5 and then click Apply. Move it into position beneath Let It Snow. Pay attention to the space between the lines. The rest can be aligned. Zoom out a little. Click on the Text tool and then click on the Design page beneath the word Can to activate the tool. Type in Sew. In the Properties window, place a check mark in the TTF box. Choose a font style from the Font drop-down menu. I used Cooper Black again. Change the style to Artwork and then click Apply. Change the color of the word Sew by clicking on a different color tile. Place the cursor over the left green up arrow of the word so. Hold the left mouse button down and drag the arrow upward to resize the text. Move the cursor into the word so until you see a hand. Once the hand appears, hold the left mouse button down and drag the word into position. The letters for the word so need to be closer together. In the Properties window, change the spacing to negative 2 and then click Apply. I wanted the letters SEW to almost touch, so I changed the spacing even more. Change the spacing to negative 3 and then click Apply. Click on the Select tool. Move the word so into the approximate position beneath the rest of the text. Use the handles to adjust the size of the word so until it appeals to you. 
the center handles let you size disproportionately. Move the word so into position. Press Add Design. Choose Artwork Cut Shapes from the Folder drop-down menu. Scroll through the designs and select Shape 17B. You'll notice that you see a thumbnail view that's larger when you hover over a design. Hold down the left mouse button and drag to draw a snowflake over the L and E. Release the mouse when the snowflake is the size you desire. Click on the Zoom tool and then draw around the words Let It Snow to zoom in on them. Click on the Select tool. Adjust the size of the snowflake to fit the letters by pulling from the corners. Right mouse click on the snowflake and choose Power Copy. Left mouse click on the word It to insert a copy. Hold the left mouse button down and drag it over the S and N to insert a snowflake over those two letters. Hold the left mouse button down and draw over the W to insert a snowflake on top of it. Click on the last snowflake in the sequence view window to select it and stop the power copy function. I pulled the last snowflake from a corner to make it larger. Click on each of the snowflakes and move them so that they cover the letters as much as possible. If necessary, resize to fit the space. It is a good idea to save your work at this point. I didn't do so in this video. Click on the Paste Setter button and choose Import and then Import Artwork. Locate the Sewing Machine FCM file that we downloaded from Canvas Workspace. Click on it and then click Open. Move it away from the text. In the Properties window, place a check mark inside the fill box and then click Apply. Click on the Zoom tool and choose Zoom to Selection. Click on the Tools tab. Click on the Edit Shape tool. Right mouse click on an edit point in the circle and choose Delete Hole. I now have a solid piece of artwork. Click on the Select tool. Click on the square in the Zoom box. This shows the entire cutting mat. Move the sewing machine over the word SO. Click on the Zoom tool and then draw around the word SO to zoom in on that section. Click on the Select tool. Pull the sewing machine in from a corner to make it smaller. Move the sewing machine over the top of the S and the E. Right mouse click on the sewing machine and choose Power Copy. Left mouse click on the W to insert a sewing machine in that location. Click on the Select tool and then move the sewing machine to the bottom of the W. Resize the sewing machine if necessary. Click on the square in the zoom area to zoom to the entire mat. Click on the Zoom tool and draw around Let It Snow. Click on the Select tool. In the Sequence window, select Let It Snow. Hold the Control key down and choose the Snowflake segment. Click on the Arrange tab. The Arrange tab is where you will find many of our new artwork tools. Click on the Transform Artwork down arrow and then choose Knockout. Notice how the snowflakes embed into the text. Scroll down the page to view the sew. In the Sequence View window, select Sew, hold down the Control key, and select the sewing machines. On the Arrange tab, click on the Transform Artwork down arrow and choose Knockout. The snowflakes and the sewing machines have now been knocked into the text. Click on the Home tab and press the square in the zoom area to zoom to the mat. Press the Select tool down arrow and choose Select All. Pull the design from the corner to resize to about 11 inches. Click on the Arrange tab. Press the Center button to move the design to the center. Press Layering Alignment. We won't use the alignment marks, but the software also puts in weeding squares that we will use. Choose where you want the alignment marks. With HDV, we will delete them so it isn't critical. I chose the top. Click OK. In the Sequence View window, click on the plus sign next to Let It Snow. Delete the second segment, the three squares. 
Click on the plus sign next to the snowflakes and then delete the alignment squares, the second artwork segment for that color. Click on the plus sign for the next color and delete the alignment marks for that color. Click on the plus sign for the last color and delete those alignment marks. To save vinyl, I'm going to adjust the weeding squares for each color. Right mouse click on the top color and choose Hide Other. Click on the rectangle in the Sequence View window and then in the Design window, resize it to fit the text. In the Sequence View window, right click on the second color segment. Choose Show All. Right mouse click on it again and choose Hide Other. In the Sequence View window, click on the rectangle for the snowflakes. Resize the rectangle to fit the snowflakes. Right mouse click on the next color in the Sequence View window and choose Show All. Right mouse click on it again and choose Hide Other. In the Sequence View window, click on the rectangle. In the Design window, resize it to fit the text. Right mouse click on the next color in the Sequence View window and choose Show All. Right mouse click on it again and choose Hide Other. In the Sequence View window, click on the rectangle. In the Design window, resize it to fit the sewing machines. Right mouse click on any of the colors in the Sequence View window and choose Show All. In the Sequence View window, press All Items. This is another way to select All. The HTV I am using needs to be cut face down. Therefore, I need to mirror the pattern. In BES4, if you want to mirror a pattern, you use the Flip function. On the Arrange tab, press Flip and then choose Flip Horizontal. Press Separate Layers. This divides the color segments so you don't have to manually separate them. Press OK to use the default settings. This saves each color as an individual file on your computer. Choose the Save Location, name the file, and then press OK. If you don't have a wireless scan and cut machine, save to a USB. All of the parts need to fit on the mat if you want to send to the scan and cut machine wirelessly through BES4. Select Color Segments in the Sequence View window, and then move them on the design page to fit on the mat. Click on the Paste Setter button, choose Scan and Cut Machine, and then Send to Scan and Cut Machine. Press OK to send the file. If this is your first time sending, you will be prompted to log into Canvas Workspace. Press OK. Now let's go to the Scan and Cut Machine. At the Scan and Cut Machine, place the media on your mat and load the mat into the machine. I started with Blue HTV. My media is face down and I mirrored the pattern in BES4. Press Retrieve Data. Press the Retrieve from Canvas Workspace via Network Connection button. All of the parts will appear on the screen. We want to remove all except for what we want to cut from our first color. Press Edit. Press the three red squares. This allows you to select multiple items. Touch the second button. This allows you to select items that aren't right next to each other. Touch multiple items that you don't want to cut. We only want Let It Snow so I can. Press OK. Press the trash can to delete the items and then press OK to confirm the deletion. The weeding squares were deleted but we want the other parts deleted as well. So press the three squares button again. Press the snowflakes and sew. My sewing machines were already selected so I didn't need to touch them. Press OK when you have the three items selected. Press the trash can to delete the patterns. Press OK to confirm the deletion. Press OK. Press the Scan Mat button. Press the Start button to begin scanning. Press Edit. Press the Selection button and then press the first button to select all. You can pull on the handles if you want to, but it isn't necessary. Press OK. Press OK. 
press Object Edit, and then press Unify. That makes the square and the text one unit. Position the cut file on your media. Press OK, press OK again, and press OK one more time. Press Please Select and then choose Cut. Since we are cutting HTB, we don't want to cut all the way through the media. We need to turn on Half Cut. My half cut is off. To turn it on, press the Settings button. Navigate to page 2, turn on half cut, and then press OK. Press Test to add a test cut. Press the Move button and then touch a directional arrow to move the test cut into position. Press OK. Press Start to cut your blue HTV. Once the test cut completes, this message appears. Check to see that your material cut cleanly without cutting all the way through the media. If it didn't, press Test again, move the pattern, and adjust the auto blade pressure on page 2 of the settings. Press Start to cut the text. When the pattern finishes cutting, press OK. Remove the media from the mat and place the next color on the mat. Press OK. Press the Home button. Press OK to delete the pattern. Press Retrieve Data. Press the Retrieve from Canvas Workspace via Network Connection button. All of the parts will appear on the screen. We want to remove all except what we want to cut from our second color, so press Edit. The pieces are removed in the same manner as we did with the first color. Repeat the process to cut all of the colors of vinyl. While you're cutting the remainder of the vinyl colors, remove the excess vinyl from the pieces you have already cut. This process is called weeding. Here is what the blue color looks like after it's been weeded. Weed all of the colors. I also wanted to cut some snowflakes out of stiff felt. I used a built-in pattern for this. Press Pattern. Select the second category on the top row. Press the first category menu. I call this the Nature category. Select Pattern AR-A007. Change the width to about 2 inches. This isn't an exact number, the size is up to you. Once you have the size, press OK. Press OK again. Press the plus sign to add snowflakes. When you have the number of snowflakes that you want, press Set. Press Add. Press Pattern. Press Pattern again. Press the second pattern menu. Select the Nature menu. Reselect the same snowflake. I wanted a different size. If I selected the one that we had done previously, it would not let me resize it in this screen. Size the snowflake to about 1.75 inches wide. Press OK. Press OK again. Choose the number of flakes desired and then press Set. Press OK. Load the felt onto the mat and then load the mat into the Scan and Cut machine. Press Please Select and then choose Cut. We need to cut completely through the felt, so we need to turn off Half Cut. Press the Settings button. Navigate to Page 2, turn off Half Cut and then press OK. Press Test to add a test cut. Press the Move button and then use the arrows to move the test cut. Press OK when it is in the desired position. Press Start. The auto blade will cut twice automatically if it feels the material being cut is thick enough. My felt cut twice. Check to see that the test cut cut cleanly. If not, adjust the pressure settings and cut again. Press Start if the test cut is correct.
Press OK when it's finished cutting. Remove the snowflakes from the mat and set aside for use after your HTV is applied. Fold the top of the base felt down one and a half inches from the top and pin into place. Stitch across to create a casing to hang the banner. Place the two lettering segments of HTV pieces on the felt, aligning them with each other. Tack into place about three seconds using the heat settings recommended by the HTV. Don't press fully as we have another layer to apply. Gently peel off the carrier sheets. Place the snowflakes and sewing machines into position. Cover with a pressing sheet and press according to the HTV directions. Peel away the carrier sheets. Place the felt snowflakes around the banner. You don't have to use all of them unless you want. Take it to the sewing machine and sew the flakes on with a button stitch. You don't have to use the button foot, just the stitch. I used a curved ruler to cut a curve on the bottom of the banner. Place a dowel through the casing and attach a ribbon. Hang on your door and enjoy!